Hi guys, uh, my name is Holly Baxter. I'm an accredited dietitian and online physique coach. And this morning's recipe is gonna be super fun. Um, I wanted to do some protein balls. I realized I haven't done these for a little while. Uh, and with the contest prep ebook coming up, I wanted to give you like two or three of like what's gonna be 10 different varieties. So I actually asked the guys this morning what they wanted because they're the ones that are gonna be eating all of these because I po can't possibly eat them all on my own. Uh, so we're gonna do uh, a carrot cake protein ball. I know it sounds kind of weird, but if you like carrot cake, you're gonna love these. Uh, we're also gonna do a picnic uh, protein ball. So we're thinking like peanut butter, chocolate, like just goodness. Uh, and they're obviously still macro friendly. Uh, and the third one I think we'll do a chocolate fudge because Lane is a bit of a chocolate fan. So that'll be like a rich, um, dense chocolate protein ball. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'm gonna go through how to do these with you uh, and give you some other ideas as well as let you in a little secret about what's actually gonna be in this ebook. So I'll start with the carrot cake recipe. I haven't made this in quite a while, so I wanted, I was kind of eager to get it stuck into this one. So for the carrot cake protein balls, uh, it's pretty straightforward. We only need about six or seven ingredients and the base of most of these protein balls are gonna be fairly similar, but um, I'll actually put in the description of this video for you uh, how I typically go about making a base for the protein balls and then just uh, what's included to make the different flavors. So uh, to start off with, um, they are protein balls, so we're gonna be adding a little bit of protein. Now for the carrot cake, uh, I'm gonna be using a plain vanilla uh, protein powder. So it's just one serve. Now you can take the protein content up of these a little bit by adding extra, but uh, for texture reasons today, I'm gonna keep it at one uh, serving of protein. Um, I then have um, some cashew nut milk. Um, you can use any kind of uh, milk alternative or regular milk if you like. Uh, but again, trying to keep the calories a little lower um, and not give too many um, flavors that aren't really commonly found in like a traditional carrot cake recipe. So cashew milk um, will just be kind of a, a very um, light or a subtle taste. Uh, you're gonna need half a cup of milk and perhaps adding a little bit more water uh, depending on the consistency that you're getting um, with the recipe as you go through. Uh, we're then gonna be adding some walnuts. Uh, I'm going to be using um, 50 grams of walnuts in this particular recipe. Again, you can use crushed nuts. I'm using whole nuts just to kind of give the uh, protein balls a little bit of texture. So when you kind of slice through the middle, they look really cool because we'll take some really awesome pictures today. Um, also commonly found in your carrot cake is going to be some kind of date or dried fruit. So I'm using 80 grams of these uh, lovely pitted sweet dates. Um, and they're gonna add a nice like sweet flavor to these instead of using regular sugar. And it's gonna help provide some volume so that you can actually roll these into balls. Um, I've chosen a um, flaxseed meal today. Um, this is a really great product to use. Again, it's gonna help um, bind everything together. It's fairly low in calories. Um, this particular flaxseed that I'm using today uh, has about 70 calories for a 30 gram serving. So uh, it's not like the best out of all of the um, flours and meals and products that you can use, um, but I just wanted to give it a nice traditional carrot cake uh, flavor. And this is something that I've always used uh, when I make carrot cake. So that is going in and I think I'm using about 30 grams of this. Um, we're gonna use some coconut flour as well. Um, 50 grams of coconut flour. We're also gonna be adding in the most important ingredient of all. We need some kind of carrot. Uh, I've got two carrots. This is 125 grams of carrot. So uh, we're gonna kind of grate those up and that's gonna go through to give it that lovely rich flavor. And final two ingredients, um, some sweetener. I've got sucralose here. I always use this one. It's just really good for cooking. It holds its flavor well and it's not, and it doesn't give any bitter uh, aftertaste. So I've got uh, one full cup or 35 grams of powdered sweetener. Don't use the liquid. Um, again, this is helping bind everything together. Um, the liquid is fine for other cooking um, products that you might be making, but um, for baking, it's definitely helping um, hold everything together. 
And then finally, uh, I'm using a little bit of coconut oil. So it doesn't matter what brand you use, uh, they're all fairly similar as far as the macronutrient profile goes. Um, some just have slightly different consistency, uh, but I'm using 25 mils or 25 grams of uh, coconut oil. Up next, you're gonna basically add all of these ingredients uh, together. Now you can do this in a mixing bowl, something like this. Uh, I'm a really lazy cook apparently, and uh, I love to use the food processor, but the key for this is not to actually over mix. You wanna have some kind of texture um, so that when you kind of like bite into your protein ball, uh, it's not just powdery. So um, just be um, scarce, I guess. Don't over blend um, so that you can still have a nice rich texture uh, when you're making these protein balls. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw everything in. Very um, briefly combine those dry ingredients first. Um, again, keeping in mind I don't want to over blend some of those um, whole ingredients like the dates and the walnuts. So I'm going to add those in last so they're kind of just getting chopped up as um, we mix it through. The coconut oil is going in. I'm gonna gradually add in this um, uh, cashew nut milk. I just don't wanna overdo it with the liquid, otherwise they're not going to come together and combine, so I'll add that in very gradually. Yep, so if you come here and have a look in this, you can see it's already kind of starting together. So if I tried to roll that right now, it probably would actually hold pretty firm. So that's a good amount of liquid um, for now. We may need to add a little bit more as I add the other ingredients. Okay, cashews going in. I'm super excited to be using these and I'll probably end up eating half the packet. I love dates and dried fruit to be honest. Quick blend. I've blended it just enough so that you can still see some of those whole ingredients. To um, add in the ca uh, carrot, we're gonna actually take this out for a brief second. I'm um, just gonna transfer it into the uh, silver cooking bowl and I'm going to put in the carrots and just kind of chop it all up really roughly. So I'm just gonna break some of those up. We're gonna add this back in here now and combine it all together. To determine whether you actually need to add any more liquid to this, uh, I'm just gonna take a little bit from the side, pop it in my hand, and once I squeeze it together, you can see here how it's kind of like already coming together, right? Check this out. So that's perfect. So I don't really need to add any more liquid into that. Gonna have a quick taste, make sure it tastes good. Tastes good, could be sweeter, but I don't really like things super sweet. So that would probably mean you need to add a little bit more of your stevia or sweetener of choice, but that's great. I'm gonna roll these into balls. Now this recipe makes 20 servings and the macros are awesome. 60 calories per ball. Uh, we're looking at 2.2 grams of protein, 3.6 grams of fat, and 4.1 grams of carbohydrate. So you can actually have a few of these um, and still be fairly low in calories. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll these up and then I'm gonna cook them. So this is the finished product. I'm not sure what inspired me to do rows of three when I have 20, it's obviously not gonna work. I'm gonna coat half with coconut and the other half with white chocolate. And the macros that I listed doesn't include um, the white chocolate coating. So I guess if you're gonna do this for your, uh, your own recipe at home, just uh, take note of how much you're actually using and then divide that out over the mixture or the number of um, protein balls you're gonna coat. So yeah. I'm using Cellucor um, cinnamon swirl flavor for the um, key ingredient uh, for this particular protein ball. 120 grams is going in, so it's gonna be higher in protein than the previous recipe. One teaspoon of cinnamon we're gonna be using. Uh, 125 mils of the uh, cashew milk. Uh, this is the lower calorie uh, milk that I can find on the supermarket shelves here in the USA. Uh, so try to find something that's comparable. 
We're then gonna need uh, another one cup of some kind of powdered sweetener. Again, try not to use the liquid because um, it's not gonna add the same kind of volume. So 35 grams or one cup of sweetener. Again, using the same amount of coconut oil. Doesn't really matter what brand you're using. Um, I've got 25 grams here. Flaxseed meal or any kind of um, milled product. You could use almond meal. Uh, you could use coconut meal. I'm also gonna use that in this recipe too. Um, but we're using 30 grams or one serving of flax seeds. And then finally, the last ingredient is coconut flour. So I'm going to be using 30 grams of coconut flour in this recipe as well. I'm gonna be using a sachet of these um, quick oats or oatmeal. So you can use rolled oats if you prefer. I'm using this because it's gonna give a thinner uh, texture. Obviously, um, I'm trying to get this one to combine a little, bit, a little bit better than the previous recipe. So I'm gonna use one sachet and this is actually uh, brown sugar cinnamon. So it's gonna work in really nicely with the flavor of this protein ball. All right, so I've just kind of, um, as I've done in the first recipe, I've grabbed a handful and like pushed it together in my hand. Uh, and it's a little bit dry still, and I've tasted it. Definitely needs a little bit more liquid. So I'm gonna go and add maybe another 50 mils um, of the cashew nut milk. I can feel that it's a lot, it's come together a lot better in my hand. This recipe actually makes about 15, okay? So the macronutrient breakdown for these are 79 calories per serve. Uh, they have seven grams of protein, uh, 2.9 grams of fat, and about 5.5 grams of carbohydrates. So uh, they're a little higher in calories than the previous one, um, but similar in fat because I've taken out uh, quite a few of the fat containing ingredients um, in this particular recipe. These are gonna be good. These are crack cocaine. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Good. All right, so these are going to go in the refrigerator or the freezer and we're about to do the melting of the chocolate. So um, I will we'll tell you what the macros are for the chocolate I'm gonna be using and what kind of adds as far as the calories are concerned. But um, this is totally fine to eat them like this if you don't wanna coat them. Some people don't like white chocolate. Some people hate coconut. <laughs> Lane. <laughs> Oh my god, Kira's like, what are you doing? And just to give you a rundown of what I've actually done here, so um, I'm gonna coat half of the um, carrot cake uh, protein balls, so I'll only be doing 10 uh, with the white chocolate, and I'm gonna be using half of the um, cinnamon um, protein bowl, so I'll be using another seven. So if I divide this amount of white chocolate and coconut oil over those, you're adding another five grams of carbs and two grams of fat per bowl. So if you're going to be adding um, that white chocolate, that is the extra macro that you need to consider. Do keep an eye on your uh, white chocolate. All right, so I'm just gonna pop these back into the freezer now uh, to set, and then you can actually see how the chocolate starts to kind of uh, seep to the bottom. You've gotta do this quite quickly um, so that you don't get pools of white chocolate everywhere. So we'll get these in the fridge. <laughs> Very soft. Tasty. <laughs> <laughs> I would eat more of them. Soft, the coating is nice, and it definitely tastes, um, Cinnamon. -y. So we're gonna try the, these are the carrot protein balls. Mm -hmm. How do you like it? You've never had these before, have you? Mm -mm. It's a very good, very textury. What did you think of the other one? You tried the white chocolate and the cinnamon. I definitely think that one was my favorite. Uh -huh. um, but this is very good because it's got the walnuts in it. Let me look at that, hang on. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. Definitely really good. Really good, like pre-workout snack. Yeah. Good amount of carbohydrate. <laughs> All 
I give it a thumbs up. That is all I actually have time for today. I am definitely gonna bring you the uh, chocolate fudge uh, protein ball, um, hopefully in the next couple of days actually, since I'm on a roll with all of these. Um, so just today we've got the white chocolate and cinnamon and the uh, carrot cake protein balls. Uh, I hope you really enjoy them. Please make them. If you like the recipes, um, share them with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all your support. Um, if you're wanting other macro-friendly recipes like the ones that you're using today, uh, head over to my website. I have a macro-friendly ebook with 52 really great recipes. Um, and also follow me along on my Instagram, which is Holly T. Baxter. Have a wonderful day, guys, and stay tuned for next time.